Hello and welcome to another video. This is Fix Me Break. I'm Tom and this is broken. So let's fix it. Okay, this is a flea bay purchase. A broken Shrek 2 game, I think it's called Castle Run. Techno Source, DreamWorks, Shrek 2. The eBay listing said that it had sound, but no video. So nothing comes on the screen. I'm hoping it's fixable. Just on initial impressions, some of the buttons seem a little sticky. So I'm wondering if it's got some water damage some orange juice down there or something but we won't know until we put some batteries in it and try it first so let's do that looking inside there is a little bit of corrosion on this pad a little bit on, on that one in there this side looks fine though, really. So let's pop some batteries in it. Okay. Sound and one bar of S's. On the bottom. Can you see that? Okay, so it just looks like there's one thin bar up there on the bottom working. Nothing else up here. So, let's take it apart and find out what's wrong. <laughs> Turn it off and take the batteries out. Okay, some of these are quite stiff. Look a little bit mangled. Just this last one. It's spinning, but I can't get it out. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Blob chip. I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with that. Some dodgy solder in there, capacitor. Okay, I think we need to take this board off. From what I can see, I think we have a screw missing there. So maybe someone's been in here already. How is that screen connected to anything? Okay, so we just, yeah, I can see now. <clears throat> I'll have to take these off as well. Okay, that is what controls what's on the screen. The circuit board literally just pushes 
these pads here just fits directly across this thin rubber pad. So, it looks to be uh, drag joints here, maybe. It's not the best connection in the world. Okay, let's get this under the microscope. Okay, we're under the microscope now. This is the dreaded blob chip. So if we go out and look around that, we've got a resistor, a couple of capacitors, some dodgy soldering, but I don't think that is the issue to be honest. More dodgy soldering, and pretty flux, someone may have already been here. The resistor, transistor, then back to these resistors and this resistor and caps. There's not a lot on it, neither. So I'm just going to check some caps. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, so. Well, the caps seem alright. few that are on it, only a couple on it. And the transistor. I think that's fine. Stick it on arms. That's a 10k. Ten with three zeros. Ten k. Could it be this? Okay, let's flip it over. Can't see any any serious issues. I'm just going to clean these pads up though. Just give it a bit of a clean up, all over. I can't see anything jumping out on this board. It could be that, which you know, it's game over if it is. Literally. <laughs> but next, I think we're going to take a look at the back of that screen. There's where the pads connect. Now, this might have not been sitting perfectly in line, it might have been off center slightly. A little dirty. I'm going to give these contacts here a clean. There's a slight ripple in this. I'm not really sure if that is an issue. I think we should put this back together now. Let's see if we can notice a difference. Okay. I've just noticed there's an, a registration point there. So we know that the, we know it's in the right place. I think there's another one there. I will just need to be able to get it on to it. <laughs> okay, we're on. This was made in 2004, so it's nearly 20 years old. But it's very simple, so I can't see 
What's going wrong with it? Again, another registration pin there, and one there. If this isn't it, I, I really don't know what else I can do, because the chances are it's, it's the blob chip. This is extremely fiddly work. <laughs> Let's just stick some batteries in it and see if that made any difference whatsoever. Nothing, <laughs> as you can see. So, let's open it up and leave some power on it. And see if we can get something to appear on that screen. Okay, let's put some power on it. Okay. Oh, shit. This could be the end, because I am not sure how to get that back onto there. Let me research it. I'll come back. Okay. So what I've discovered is this is called an elastomeric connector and the only way it works really is via pressure between the LCD and the board, the PCB. So all I've been advised by people is to say just clean it, make sure it's dust free. I can see a little bit of grime, I don't know if you can make that out, probably not. It does to be see, appear to be a, a line of crime along the rear, so I'm going to clean it with some RPA and then try my darndest to get that to stay there and to stay on there. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm wondering if there's not enough pressure from the PCB to the back of the display, the connector, if I shim this up ever so slightly, raising and giving more of a contact, that'll raise the LCD back above this lip here. And it'll give the PCB more chance to push down on it. That's my thoughts anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm just going to stick a little shim right on the very bottom front of that. Okay, I'm going to start with some insulation tape. I'm going to do one more of them because I don't think that's going to be enough. So that will have shimmed it up a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah I can see the difference there. Now let's try the board again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, I don't think you saw that, but <laughs> the screen was on. Completely on. So I'm just going to build this back up now. <laughs> I can't believe that that screen was on. I thought that, that was the end of it as soon as that uh, rubber strip came off. Maybe it just needed a good clean. I'm going to put one back in these for now. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. <laughs> Honest. As soon as that rubber strip came off there, I thought that was game over. But it appears a good clean and, uh, and a little shim and it's back together again and it seems to work no I'm no professional at this this is literally just I've got a little bit of electronics experience building circuit boards fixing broken circuit boards nothing I've watched Stestix Fix shout out to Stestix Fix he's brilliant he's inspired me to do this and it's scary, it's scary, it really is, especially when you don't know what you're doing. So, I think I'm missing two of these. I'll just leave two out the back. I think these should be on for the buttons. I appear to have dropped one. Also, where's that come from? <laughs> shit. Okay, it's the start, stop button. See, now I don't take that off in case I can't get it back to where it was. But I'm gonna have to honor. Holy schmuck, I'm only. I've done it once, I can do it again. Don't be afraid. No, they all have one on. They all have one on. Good, so I don't have to set that off again. Please work. This little carbon switch must be off one of these even though they all worked which is odd or one of them it's very fiddly work I'll say it again <laughs> yes it's going to be after under one of these I'm hoping it's this one <laughs> No, it's not. They've all got one on as well. Is this a spare that's appeared from nowhere? It's going to be after. It's going to have to be under that one, is it? It's going to have to be under that one. I forgot where I were then. Well, maybe that just a clean, did it? Just a good clean? No, because I. I don't think it worked, did it? When I put it back together, it didn't work until I, sh I put a shim underneath. Right, I don't know where that's from. Because all of them have one, all four of them have one, and them two have one. So I don't know where that's from, unless there was a spare in there for some unknown reason. Right, okay, I'm not arguing. <laughs> I can always do with a spare. Pop it back together. Pause, works, start, fantastic. It's all working. Oh, damn. Well, it's fixed. Please like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. I think the next video I'm doing is this. I started to make a funny hum, vibrate. So I think I've been told there's a capacitor inside that needs replacing. I'm going to open it up and have a look anyway. So that may be the next video. Thanks for watching. And uh, like and subscribe. You know the drill. I'm chuffed to base with that. See you later.